What? No, nothing? What? Sneaking gifts? Me? No. Why would I just... <laughs> Welcome back ladies and gents. For those of you who are new to the channel, I am Daniel and today I'm going to help you guys figure out some last minute gift ideas for those photographer friends or family members. Let's do it. Alright, the first super cool gift on the list is these mini phone lenses for your camera. Now these are awesome because you just take your phone with you, the camera on your phone might not be the best and these lenses offer a little bit more. They've got like fisheye lenses, zoom lenses, it's a great cheap little gift that you can pick up as like a stocking stuffer or even like a gift exchange for a photographer friend. The second gift we're looking at today is a gorilla pod. Now I'm sure you've seen them in a bunch of other YouTube videos, you might have one if you're a photographer, if you're picking it up for a friend this would be an unreal gift to get. I guarantee you any photographer or filmmaker or vlogger is gonna love this if you get this for them. It's those little bendy tripods and you can wrap it around railings or tree branches, set it up, hold it for a handheld shot. It's an amazing gift. I would love to get one and I'm sure whoever you're getting gifts for would love to get one too. Now I'm gonna link all of the things that I talk about today down in the description below. Honestly, Amazon is a beautiful thing. Order it on Amazon, you're gonna get it like two days later and you know it's gonna come on time so you can afford to do last minute shopping. And I'm not gonna lie to you, the prices on Amazon, I'm not sure how they do it but it's like way cheaper than anywhere else. So make sure you click these links down below if you wanna order them on Amazon and guarantee to get them on time. All right, let's move on to number three. Gift number three is this fa- Jesus. Gift number three is this bad boy right here, a reflector. Now this is something that every photographer wants for portraits and stuff, like look at me right now, I'm probably glowing. Ooh. Every photographer is gonna want one of these. Not every photographer is gonna be able to justify buying it. They're relatively cheap, but like most people will be like, ah, but do I really need it? Like if you can pick this up for your photographer friend or family member, it's definitely not gonna go underappreciated. They're gonna use the crap out of it and they're gonna love it. So cheap option, great gift. I can't get over it. You can use it for tanning too. Oh yeah, looks good, right? Look at that reflection gold. Most of them are like double sided, they come with sleeves, so like it's like multi-purpose. You can block out light, you can reflect light, gold, silver, whatever you may need. Great gift option, pick one up. The next gift is something that I mentioned in a previous video, <whistles> cleaning kit for your camera, again. No photographer wants to go out and buy one of these, but these are so clutch that if you picked it up for them, they would get so much usage out of it and they'd love you for it. You don't want to buy it, but they're like, hey, if somebody's going to give it to me as a gift, like, yeah, I'm going to take it. That's awesome. Pick these up. Not expensive. Honestly, I'm like, like your own personal Santa Claus. I'm picking you out all these sweet, inexpensive gifts that people are going to love to get. So just, just. Go down below, click those links, and be like the biggest beauty this whole holiday season and pick up a sick gift for your friend or family member. Just do it. Next up, this Viltrox light. I love this thing personally. It's so small that it fits in my backpack, but it's like super pow. It's super powerful, and you can change between a warm light, a cool light, it mounts to tripods, you could even screw it into the top of your camera for filming. So clutch, and like, 50 bucks, you can't go wrong. Again, I feel like this, I keep saying this, but it's so true that I'm gonna keep saying it. These are all things that like photographers want, but they don't necessarily wanna buy, so if you pick it up, you're like, you're the coolest aunt ever, or sister, or mom, or dad, or even if you buy it for yourself, you can unwrap it and be like, oh man, thanks man, oh yeah, this is awesome, you really know what I like. Yeah, I do. So even buy it for yourself, it's your holiday too, you deserve it, come on now. All right, towards the end of the list, I've got two personal favorites that I would love to receive, so stick around for those. Also, I'm just gonna cut in here and be like, yo, if you haven't subscribed yet, do that now so I can keep up these awesome videos for you guys, I would love to have you guys following me, like I appreciate everyone who subscribed to me on YouTube and I'd love to add you to that family. But more importantly, we have gifts to move on to. The next one on the list, little bit of a higher price point. This is like a good like, that's the gift you wanna get, the Nifty 50. Now, if you are just starting out in photography or you know someone who is and they've got their standard like kit lens 18 to 55, like. Yeah, it works, but everybody always wants that newer, better lens. For like 150 bucks, a Nifty 50 is like an unbelievable gift. I remember when I got mine, 
I was like blown away, like this is awesome. For a photographer, it'll like reignite them to get out there and shoot more. So pick one of these up. I guarantee you that'll be the gift of the holiday season if you can get them this. I mean, you could go out and buy them a Canon 1DX for like eight grand, but that's just unrealistic. I mean, if you wanna do that, th then you're, I guess then you're the best gift giver ever, but you know, nobody's really expecting that. So, you know, nifty 50, awesome substitute, like 150 bucks, that's like reasonable. I feel like the average person spends like $300 on a gift on Christmas anyway, so hit this one, 150, and you will be a god on Christmas. Moving on. All right, we're moving into a bit of a higher price point. Those first couple gifts are like awesome bundled together, or you know what, if your budget's not quite there and you wanna get someone a gift, Absolutely. I guarantee you, you get any of those for someone and they're gonna love the shit out of that gift. Now, getting a little bit in the higher price point, getting things that photographers or vloggers or video makers might want, let's look at microphones. The Rode Video Micro is only about 75 bucks. It's a great alternative, but if you want something a little bit more professional and actually what I'm using right now, you've got the Video Mic Pro, which is like an unbelievable camera for vlogging, for recording audio, for just setups like this. like. You're gonna spend about 230 to 250 bucks depending on where you live, but I'm telling you, ever since I got it, I have not used or wanted to use a, another mic. So this is a great gift. You're gonna look like a hero if you pick this one up. And you know what, like the person you're giving it to or buying, even if you're buying for yourself, you are gonna get so much mileage out of it that it totally justifies the price point. 230 bucks is like a little bit intimidating, but totally worth it. Up next, big time gift. And I know this is gonna be like a little like, oh Daniel, why did you suggest that? I can't do that. The Canon EOS M50. Now it's a small starter camera for someone who like might wanna get into photography or you, if you yourself wanna get into photography, it's a great start. I don't expect anyone who just got in or just wants to get into photography to go out and buy an $8,000 1DX. That's unrealistic. Start with the M50, it'll get your feet wet, you'll be taking pictures, it's got the flip out screen so you can vlog, external mic input, it's fantastic. It's a couple hundred bucks, that's a big gift. Again, gonna look like a hero if you pick that one up, but I'm just throwing that in there as a suggestion. I mean, it's about photography and video. If I didn't throw a camera in there, would I really be doing my job? Probably not. So pick up the EOS M50, solid camera, Awesome interchangeable lenses. You can't go wrong with that as an entry level thing for someone you know younger who wants to get into photography or if you wanna buy yourself an awesome gift and you wanna take wicked pictures and start vlogging about your vacations, start there. Awesome pick. All right, we're gonna backpedal a little bit here and look at one of my favorite accessories to work with and something I love to use. A little photography prism crystal thing. I mean, I don't, what's the real name for this? I don't know, a prism, a clear crystal prism. Awesome accessory, these things are like $12, $13. Great stocking stuffer, great if you wanna add something to a gift. Oh, did you get them socks for Christmas? Who gets people socks for Christmas anymore? Throw this in as an accessory so they won't feel that bad about the socks. Actually, you know what, I'd love socks. I think as you get older, you appreciate like socks and underwear way more. Anyway, I mean, if you're gonna get me socks, throw one of these in, I have one, but I'll take another one. Like $12, $13. It's linked below along with everything else. Great stocking stuffer and provides a whole other element that you can use to take pictures. And I think that's gonna go a long way in like reigniting someone who's like, ah, you know, I've, I've done it before. I need to change it up, I need to spice it up. I guarantee you bust one of these out on Christmas. The person who receives it will be running around the house taking pictures of everything with the crystal in front of their camera and you'll be like, damn, that's pretty impressive. I like what you did there. All right, we're moving into the final two things on the list of last minute gifts you could pick up. Amazon Prime, don't have to worry about it. Oh my God, I didn't do any shopping and now I'm gonna run out of time before I get a present and I'm gonna look like a total on Christmas when I don't have anything. These gifts are two things that I would love to get. I don't have them and as a photographer, someone who does this pretty frequently, I would love to get them. The first thing is the Holga 120N. It's a film camera. This thing, people, is $45. It's cheap, plastic little camera, but it's film, and it's something you can go out as a photographer and try something new. We're so used to like the whole digital camera. You can take 10,000 pictures, no mistakes. 
there's something about like a film camera where you kind of, it's just you and the shot, you got to set it up properly. The Holga 120N is like a sick accessory for any photographer. Someone who shoots digital, I would love to get this camera and just change it up and shoot film for a little bit, you know? Even like all those terrible, terrible family dinners that you have to go to that nobody wants to be at for more than 15 minutes, bring your film camera, take some shots. All of a sudden, that massive turkey on the table that no one ever finishes becomes awesome, something you wanna shoot, you wanna get everybody together and take pictures. And then there's the whole like, going to get the film developed, oh, this is awesome. That being said, if you're gonna buy this for someone, don't be gutty buy the film as well. You can buy the film for like 10 bucks. So all in, this thing's gonna cost you like 55 bucks and it's a bomb gift to receive. Again, I don't have one. I would love to have one. If any of you beauties out there wanna get me a Christmas present, I'd totally accept this. No pressure though. And the final gift. The one gift that if I received it, I'd probably cry like a little girl. Price point's a little bit high at about 250 to 300 bucks. It's the Loop Deck or the Loop Deck Pro. Now this is an unbelievable editing tool for photographers. It's got dials and knobs and buttons and you can program it and it just makes your whole editing workflow easier. You could just one hand it and fly through like thousands of edits at a time and it brings a whole new aspect of the editing process of photography. I would love to get this and I'm sure anyone you know would love to get it as well. Again, if you wanna buy it for me, not gonna say no, totally go for it. But that being said, it is a little bit more expensive, so make sure you love the person, you know? Like, good friends, fan. no, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, it's a great gift. I'm sure anyone would love to receive it. Heck, even buy one for yourself, because I know sometimes you're just like, oh, I don't trust the people getting me good gifts. Like, last year I got like a sweater and, you know, ah, it's okay, yeah, fine, it's a sweater, that's fine. But like, if I got a loop deck, whoo, okay. So, you know, back to the point. Pick one up for someone you love, pick one up for yourself. I will link it down below. I have linked all the stuff that I talked about down below and I swear to God, if you guys pick one of these or a couple of these up for someone that you love, they are gonna love you right back. They won't hate you this holiday season and you're probably gonna win the award for best gifts this year. Let's just put it that way. Anyway guys, that's it for me today. I hope you guys all have an awesome holiday season. I'm sure I'll put it on another video before Christmas, but you know, I hope you guys get what you want and I hope you guys pick up some of these things for other people that you love. Um, it's all about spreading that joy and cheer. And, oh God, I'm getting all sappy now. No, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, go out, pick some of these up, linked all below. Thanks for watching and you know, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later. Are you still here? Don't you have some shopping to do? Go on, get out of here. Wow, creepy, oh God. Thank <laughs> you.